Hi, I'm Sam Edwards. I'm third generation cure master with Edwards Virginia Hams. We cure basically two different types of dry cured hams. One is what we call the shortcut method, which is using the shortcut ham, the hot cut off, where we age them about four to six months. We also have what we call the wigwam ham, which is aged about a year, and the longer you age the ham, the more intense the flavor. As you can see, the skin is all the way down the back and has a long shank on the ham. Now, I'm proud to introduce to you Chef John Gonzales from A Chef's Kitchen in Colonial Williamsburg, who's gonna show you how to use the water cook method. So this is the Edwards Virginia Country Ham. It comes in this burlap, and internally it's wrapped in some parchment paper. We'll remove that from the paper and inspect the ham a little bit. If there is some mold, um, that's not a bad thing at all. In fact, that's very, very traditional. Just get a little scrub brush, a kitchen brush, or something like that under some cool water and, uh, and wash it away. But uh, th they often come just uh, completely clear of any of that mold. It's also wrapped in this netting for a couple good reasons. It'll help keep the, the shape of the ham, but also on this clip end, this is the part you're gonna wanna pull the ham out of this water. The water in this classic ham pot is 190 degrees. We checked it with the thermometer here. That is a really slow simmer. You just barely see tiny bubbles in the very, very bottom of the pot. We're going to cook this for approximately four hours, maybe a little bit more. You need about 20 minutes uh, to the pound, and these hams can run about 15 uh, pounds. So give yourself plenty of time and keep it right at this barely steeping temperature here. Again, you don't want it to boil because that will attack the outside surface of the ham deteriorating it and uh, so a little bit slower uh, is better in this regard so four hours we'll check the temperature and we might need a little bit more time after that it's been a little over four hours I'm gonna reach in here and grab a little piece of this netting with the displacement of the water this floats and we're going to grab the clip, right, use a towel if you want, and pull this ham out. We're going to check its temperature through this medius part here. There's a bone running up and then the H bone. This is the thickest part. Uh, this uh, thermometer here, it's got a little dimple about an inch and a quarter up the shaft. And that is the part of the thermometer that actually reads the temperature. So you want this to be into the thickest part or the middle of the ham. When you insert the thermometer, do it in an upright position. So the 120 degree mark is say at 12, 12 o'clock for example, because you don't want to be twisting the dial of this because these you can uh, knock off the, the calibration. So I'm turning this using uh, the shaft. Now, we're looking for an internal temperature of 155 degrees, and with a little carryover cooking, it will eventually peak at about 160, which will be perfect.